My name is Aphrodite and I'm the director of Flavor Dance Studios. I'm a dancer, a dance teacher and a director. I have been a director since 2003. That's when we opened up Flavor Dance Studios. My business partner, Marissa, I first got into being a dance teacher um, because I was dancing so much street dance at home. like. And I was like, you know what, I need, I've got so much information here and knowledge, I wanna share it with someone. And I wanted to share my knowledge with someone else because in Adelaide, when we started, there was no hip hop here. We were the first dance school here in South Australia. Nice. To open up. <laughs> so I met Marissa in 1996 uh, with my twin sister. Uh, we went to her sister's dance school and she was sitting there on the ground. She was like 14, we were 16. Took the sister's dance class and she came straight up to us and said, hey, do you wanna do a dance competition? We're like, let's do this. So we did a practice for a few months. We won the competition and then we kept training together for two hours a week in her parents' garage. Um, and to the point where 2002 came, she went to Melbourne to study full time. I studied at uni as well. And we were like, you know what? Do you want to open a dance studio? We're like, yeah, let's do this. And by pure luck, you know, I'm 22, she's like 21, uh, 20, we were so young. Um, and you know, 37 students we started with, and now it's like an empire. It's grown from, as I said, 37 students to now we have up to about 600. And word of mouth is the best kind of advertising you possibly get. Adelaide's so small. Um, and that's how it just, every year just escalated. And because we also do our live concerts, mid year and end of year, more people keep coming and it's just growing and people just wanna, they're becoming more aware of the hip hop culture as well. All those dance moves that started coming out, you got served and step up and all that. People are like, I wanna do that. You know what I mean? So, and that's why we've grown because people wanna do that and we can give them that. I love being a dance teacher because I love seeing the progression of the students. And I mean, I've had students come to my class that are literally crying because they're so shy or scared and then give me 10 weeks and they're on stage performing, killing it. I want to come back for some more. So that progression, I'm just, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting goosebumps. Um, that feeling, oh my goodness, can't beat it. That's what I love being about a dance teacher. Growth, growth and development of the students. I don't think I don't like it. No, I like everything about being a dance teacher. I mean, yeah, you know, there's times where sometimes the students don't listen, but you kind of get over that. You only see them, you know, once a week, maybe twice a week. So I love everything about being a dance teacher. I can't, I can't fault it. Like, otherwise I wouldn't be doing what I'd be doing. I've created my life around it. Um, I'm a night owl, so I guess it, it's totally fine. I can wake up whenever I want. Mind you, I wake up really early. Um, and it allows me, being a dance teacher, because I teach at night, allows me to do what I want to do during the day, which I like to train, you know, I can take care of my little girl and do the business side of it. And then at night I get to be a dance teacher. So it molds and it fits really well into my lifestyle. When we first started our business, literally in the first year, um, I had a massive knee recon that took me out for a whole year. And that was me, because I'm a crazy fitness kind of person. I went to, well, I don't know if you've heard of Les Mills Body Combat. I was there doing this boxing class and Marissa was behind me. I was competing with the girl next to me because I'm so competitive. And I went up for this massive hitch kick, boom, ankle, tore ACL. Being a dance teacher, that's hard, um, especially because we didn't have anyone at that point. It was just me and Marissa. Yeah, but out for, well, you know, I pushed it six to eight months, so that was rough. But you can actually keep going um, and live life normally, but if you want to be a sport and athlete, you have to get it done. So they said, listen, you want to be a dancer? Let's do it, so within two weeks. But you need to literally learn how to walk again. If I could go back and change anything from when I started, I don't think I would want to mess with that because it's been perfect the way that it's actually happened. It's like it was meant to be. The time that we started in 1996, I kind of liked the fact that um, there was no real big social media. Like, um, well, maybe that's what I'll prepare. 
me going back to 996, I'll say just be aware, social media is gonna be absolutely freaking huge. It's gonna take over the world. Because back then, we didn't have it. We didn't have this YouTube. You know what my YouTube was? It was video hits Saturday morning, me trying to watch Bobby Brown and Vanilla Rice. You know what I mean? Like, I think to prepare my mind for that, because that, I feel like, has kind of taken over the world. And maybe not for the better. But I find for the younger ones coming up, um, I feel like uh, the originality is somewhat kind of scarce at this point because they're constantly looking at YouTube and maybe not being themselves and they're trying to copy too much whereas back then it was just it's here and that's what I try to teach yeah so if you want to be a dancer or a dance teacher you've got to do as many classes as you possibly can I mean if you want to be a professional dancer you need all your genres if you want to be a street dancer hey come to Flavor Dance Studios we got you um, and try to be as original as you possibly can try to find your own flavor that's what we're about <laughs> what's your flavor what's your flavor mm, tell me what's your flavor I don't know